Mind tricks you can do on your friends. First one, nodding your head while asking a question makes the other person likely to agree with you. So if you ask a question, hey, can you please subscribe to the channel? Yeah, sounds good. They're gonna be like, can I subscribe? Yeah, I think I can subscribe to the My tricks to join your friends. Dun, dun, dun. If you want someone to believe your lie, just add an embarrassing detail about yourself. Hey, Brock, you know I can bench like 300 pounds? Oh, and one time I ate a sandwich while taking a shit. Is that, is that good? Is that what you're supposed to do? I think I think it has to be relevant to what you're talking about. Like, let's say you and your other friend, they're fighting. Now they don't like each other. So you're seeing this friend right now, and he's like, Hey, have you talked to this guy recently? And you're gonna be like, Oh, sh**, he's not supposed to know. So you say, No, I haven't been to his house recently. Last time I've been to his house, I broke his plate. Even though it's a lie, and you added, like, a thick detail. If you add details, it just seems realistic. I'm not like benching 300 pounds and eating a sandwich while you're taking a sh**. You know, that is... That's not gonna be believable at all. I mean, it was believable for you guys. You guys know I can bench 300 pounds, right? And sometimes I fart when I bench 300 pounds. I just kind of slips out because I'm trying so hard. Well, you guys think I can bench 300 pounds, and you guys know that I fart when I bench. That's not gonna be believable at all. This one is very cool. It's actually a mind trick. You can do this when you lost something. If you lost something, let's say you lost your keys. Don't look for something going left to right. Don't do this when you're searching. Instead, do this. Right to left. Apparently because you're not used to looking for things right to left, you're actually going to be more likely to notice things that you didn't notice when you look left to right. Am I helping your life situation? Mind tricks on your friends that will blow their mind. If you want someone to believe a fake story that you- Like, let's say you're telling a fake story to a friend. Bro, I hooked up with three girls in one day. And obviously just the tone of voice. So like, he's going to be like, what, why are you screaming? I hooked up with three girls in one day. Can you stop screaming? You're hurting my- Why are you screaming? I don't know why are you screaming. Ah! All you have to do is repeat it three times, and it makes it that much more believable. But each time, you have to add a small detail. I hooked up with three girls in one day. No, you didn't. I hooked up with three girls in one day, and one of them was actually named Jennifer. You know Jennifer. No, you didn't. I hooked up with three girls in one day, and it was Jennifer and <laughs> those two twins. Wait, did you? Yes. Like I said, this is mind tricks. Don't blow your mind. Mind tricks you can do on your friends, all right? And they work, for the most part, if you're good at it. Next time you see your friend, they're like, what is the word spell? S-H-O-P. Go. He's gonna say shop. Then he say, what do you do when you come to a green light? Then you're gonna be like, uh, stop. Ha. No, you don't. Loser. Okay, this one's hilarious. This one is so, this one's very good. This one's just to mess up with your friend. Let's say you have friends, okay? <laughs> I just say, let's say you have, let's say I have friends, because you know. Let's say you have friends, and uh, you want to mess with them. If one of them's counting something, let's say he goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. While they're counting, say random numbers. You're going to mess up their counting, and they're going to hate you so much, but it's going to be the funniest thing you've ever done in your life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7! Bro, shut up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17! Just shut up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 130! Sore, sore, four. Okay, this one's, a, this one's a funny, it's more like a trick in general. It's not just a mind trick. If you want your friend to hold something, let's say you just bought like a bunch of stuff at the grocery store. You have a bag with you and you guys are walking, right? If you want him to hold the bag without him noticing, you guys, all you have to do is just keep walking and talking. Hey, hey remember Jennifer? I, I told you last night I hooked up with her, right? And those twins. And then while you're talking, you hand the bag. Remember Jennifer, like, and the twins? Bro, the twins are good. The twins are amazing. And, uh, thanks for holding that. Peace out, bro. Peace out. I just made you hold that. These actually work. You need to try it on your friends. Try these mind tricks on your friends. You're gonna get in their brain. You're gonna get in their, blah, 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 like, their, their brain. You're gonna explode. Everyone knows the old classic. You ask someone what's one plus one, two plus two. Do you guys remember this one? If you don't, this is a great one to do on your friends. You ask them what is one plus one? They answer two. What is two plus two? They answer four. What is four plus four? They answer eight. And then you say, what is 8 plus 8? They say 16. Now you quickly say, name a vegetable. What are you guys thinking about? What are you guys thinking about? Is it carrot? Did you say carrot? Watch out, Doc. It's either you're either going to come up with carrot or broccoli. That's one of the two options you're going to come up. It's an automatic mind trick that you can do on your friends. Mind tricks to blow your friend's brain out of their cells and their skulls. All right, guys. Now we're on to one before the last one. This is a cool mind trick okay, that you can actually do on yourself. This has nothing to do with your friends, but you can tell your friends about it if they want your help. Because you're going to be a mind trick god from now on. You're gonna be the mind trick master dojo, you know what I'm saying? If you have a song stuck in your head, all you literally have to do to get rid of that song replaying in your head all the time is just listen to the ending of the song or just think about the ending of the song. The reason it's stuck in your head is because your brain can't tell what the ending is. Your brain is uh, very strange in a way that is obsessed with things that don't have an ending. It always wants to find solutions and answers. And once you think of the ending, the song will stop replaying in your head and that'll be the end of that. 
<laughs> Got him. And finally, the holy grail of all mind tricks to do on your friends. This is the one mind trick. It's gonna be amazing. Check this out. If you and your friends are eating, your friend has a nice sandwich. Okay, let's pretend like they have a nice sandwich. Mmm, delicious. Hey, I know a mind trick that will actually blow your mind. Wow, okay. Please tell me. Tell them to close their eyes and picture a playing card. Okay. And while they do that, you know, they're either gonna have the food in their hand or the food on, on their plate. You guys know where this is going. So when they picture when they picture a playing card, the second they picture it, I need you guys to eat as much food as humanly possible out of their plate. Uh, it's the diamond. It's red. Five diamonds. Yes, red. Oh, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So basically, you get free food out of a mind trick that's not even a real mind trick. And there you have it, guys. That was mind tricks you can do on your friends. So for today, bye, guys. But thank you so much for watching. If you did. And if you haven't liked my videos, go do that. I'll put a few links in the description for them, guys. And I will get on to my next video soon.